Hi everybody, Bets Golden here. I actually today am really excited. I am collaborating with a couple other designers um, and we're gonna each um, swap a project. And two of the designers I'm swapping with, I am doing pocket letters for, and that's what this project is for. And she also is a blogger and a designer, and she does some YouTube stuff, so go check out her channel. Um, her, um, let me see her, I can't even talk. Her blog is Scraps of Reflection, so go, go, go check it out, because she's amazing. Um, she's the one that has mentored me in this whole process and has allowed doors to open. Her and I did Creativation together in 2017, January. I met her, gosh, two or three years ago at a retreat in Texas, and it was a lot of fun. So anyway, um, she's going to do a pocket letter, and I'm going to do a pocket letter. The cool thing is, is neither one of us have ever done this before. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited, but... I fell in love with these fairy dress forms. Oh, so anyway, I'm going to use these um, as my base. This is not digital issues. This is my stupid computer did something issues. And um, I'm also going to supplement it just to add a little bit of variety with the leftover pieces I have of this download with some fairies. Don't want it to be too one note. And then I'm going to throw in this one and whatever else pleases me. So I just wanted to show you what I'm working with. All of this is from Calico Collage. Um, so check that out too if you're interested. And I'll come back and I'll show you how I did my pocket letter. And I will reveal hers too when she sends it back to me. So I'm going to go work on this and then I'm probably going to put it together with you or at least give you a walkthrough of it. Since I've never done this before, I don't know how long it's going to take. And so I just figure it's better if I kind of just go do it and then come back. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'll be back with my pocket letter from my friend and blogger and YouTuber, the great Aaron Reed. All right, so I have prepped my stuff for this pocket letter that I'm exchanging with my friend and YouTuber blogger Erin Reed with Scraps of Reflection. The first thing that I did was I did make a shaker card in the center of the pocket letter, and I did double side. I know that a lot of people only do one side of it, and I can appreciate that, but if she wants to put this with her ATCs or in a binder, when she turns the page, she's going to see the back, so I want the back to look pretty, so I'm making it two-sided with more of an emphasis on one of the sides that will be have some a little extra something on it. But um, just to back up a minute, a pocket letter actually is the pin pal version for us artsy fartsy creative folks. It's the old school pin pal version. So in the pocket letter, you're supposed to include a little letter talking about who you are and whatnot. Well, I know Aaron and Aaron knows me, so we already have a pretty good beat on how we each how we each are and things like that. So um, she stayed with me uh, it, over for creativation. She was here, and then um, she and I also uh, buddied up a couple times in in Texas. So um, you know we know each other fairly well, I would say. But just to keep the spirit of the pocket letter, I'm going to include it. And I'm going to go totally old school on this. And I am going to fold it like we were passing notes in high school and junior high, baby. Oh, yeah. You know how I'm going to do it right now. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I, I have to say that I used to know how to make a little tree, but I'm not too sure... I know how to do that one anymore. So we're just going to uh, kick it with this. If I didn't mess it up. And oh my goodness. I This was like serious stuff back in the day. You had to fold this just ever so perfectly. And I can't remember if you were supposed to leave the tab out. Well, I'm going to. So there, there's her little pocket letter that'll go up here in the corner at the very end. So we have that out of the way. 
All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to show you what I made for this with the digital images. I used, I backed, what I did was I took the image, printed it twice, and then just backed it up with one another. And for these two images, I actually went ahead and inked the edges and called it good because I have something special I'm going to add on these. And I'm going to place those like that. Then I used the fairy dress image, did the same thing, only on the dress I added some stickles, I dropped some ink, and called it good. So both of the back on that will be pretty. This one, and the bling on the wings is just so pretty. But I'm not, I'm not done with this. I still have a few things I want to add. The lines is not anything wrong with the digital print. It is my computer. I don't know why it did that. And I didn't, I wanted it to all be like the same theme, but I didn't want it like really, really matchy matchy. So matchy matchy. So all these colors and everything kind of go together. And I took these really delicate, beautiful, images of the fairy dress and dress form and I you know I added a little bit of grunge to it to kind of fall in with these aren't grungy but um they're definitely more natural and so I figured if I drop some ink that make it work so first thing I want to do with this is I actually want to take this image and I am going to put this little necklace, like type charm, attach it. So what I did was I used one of the other oval images and I cut it down to size and then I put glossy accents over it. So technically she could wear this as a necklace if she chose to. And I'm just going to put that right there. I was going to put some ribbon on it, but it would really, really bulk it up even more. And I just didn't want to do that. So this is, so this section of the pocket letter is ready to go. And like I said, one side is going to be super pretty. The other side will be pretty too, but you know, the front and the front is the one that has the holes on the left. Okay. So let me do this one is next. I'm going to take this image and I did the same thing. Only, um, I punched a circle from one of the other digital images and I popped it in this cute little necklace type locket type deal. And I think I'm going to put that right there. All right, so this image is ready to go. Now, I when I first saw these beautiful fairy dress forms, I automatically wanted to put a butterfly smack dab in the center of them, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I have these fantastic butterflies that are from my stash. They're all different. I didn't want them all the same. I did want them to kind of be the same metallic tone, which is a gold. Kind of wanted it to go together. So I am just going to go ahead and Place that right there, right in the center. I just thought it would be really pretty with a butterfly in the center. 
Need a little bit more adhesive. Okay. Let me set that one aside. I lift it up, but it's still wet. So we're going to wait just a minute. Let me do this one next. I just, you know, butterflies have been in for as long as I can remember. I have been at this craft 28, let's see, 28, 38, for all just shy of 25 years. And butterflies have always been in it. And I will hold these up and give you guys a closer view as soon as they dry. There's so much you can do with a fairy dress form <laughs> like a lot you can even put um, paper doll head on it that'd be cool okay getting close I'm just not very talkative right now. Sorry. I do that sometimes, you guys. I, I get, I'm a thinker, and so I listen a lot um, in people's company, and um, I think. So when I'm working on something, I don't do well multitasking at all. I'm, I have a one-track brain. Not even kidding right now. I don't know what is requiring me to think so much about adhering butterflies, but, you know. Okay, so these are going to set up, and I'm going to put them in the sleeve. The sleeve I'm using is just a baseball sleeve. That's all it is. It's just a baseball sleeve. So, let me show you this one first. I'm going to just put that right here. And then I love this one. That monarch butterfly is so pretty. And since that has a brown base, I'm going to put it in the opposite corner of the one I just put in because it has a brown base as well. And then, okay, here's some green. And I'm going to do the green wings right here on this line. some more green and then we're gonna do this one next just looks so cool Last but not least, and then I'm going to go ahead and I wanted to run on the top of here some bling, but I am out of clear bling, it looks like. So, but then I see this, 
And I have another idea. So much of my art I have plans for, and then I just changed my mind last minute. Which is kind of funny because I'm a pretty stick to the plan kind of gal. Um, but when I'm in my craft room creating, my craft room gets to be just a complete and epic mess. And I just go with it and I just fly by the seat of my pants, it seems sometimes. So, um,. It's just interesting how different I am in every other area of my life. I'm not like that. I'm very detail oriented and planned. So, okay, I think I like that. I think I like that a lot. Now, so that is what the pocket letter looks like so far. Fairies is the theme. So now, um, I think, dun, 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 that it's going to fit in this, ooh, I may be wrong, envelope. We're going to see. It's supposed to cost $2 to mail, but mine's kind of heavy, so I'm thinking it's going to cost at least 3 which is fine. It's an extra buck. She's my friend. I'll spend it. <laughs> Plus, I know that she's doing a pretty bang-up job for me. Like, it's going to be awesome. Her stuff is amazing. That's the cool thing is the people that I'm doing this with, their stuff is so amazing. All right, so I'm going to put this in back here, just like the little, like you're supposed to. I actually think I need to fold that one more time. Oh, my little junior high pocket letter. It's all right. That's still cute. That's cute, right? It still resembles that. I mean, I can't, you can't tell me to fit a letter into a pocket and not fold it like I was in junior high. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is ready to go. And then, boom, boom. See how it folds up all nice and neat? Dun, dun, dun. The time of truth. I don't think it's gonna fit. No, it's too too small. I'm gonna gotta I gotta get a bigger envelope, but that's totally fine. The idea, I think if if this was like a business envelope, it would fit because the pocket goes up over. So I'm gonna find one of those. Um, but anyway, this is a pocket and this is a pocket letter. This is it right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I don't even know if it's a tutorial. It was more like a walkthrough, huh? Because I wasn't really teaching you anything. But today I received in the mail her pocket letter for me. And so I wanted to go ahead and open that up with you and share with you what she gave me since we know what I gave her. <laughs> so anyway, something that her and I learned was, uh, this is kind of a side note, we do a lot of swaps together and it costs approximately two dollars and sixty seven cents to mail this when I go through a clerk and so she and I always do it because I usually have custom forms that have to get filled out and I don't want to have to go to the machine and then go over to the clerk at the post office so I just always run it and so she let me know she's like hey this only cost a dollar 
47 to mail or a dollar 40 to mail when I use the machine and I'm like well that's good to know well I got it and it said owed a dollar 27 but they didn't charge me because she used the machine and it was their error so just so you know and whenever you want to mail something at least use their machine because if you put the wrong postage on it uh, it'll probably get returned to you. So that was just kind of funny when we were talking about that, about how crazy that is and how wrong. Oh, so look at this. Oh, wow. She did a pocket letter for me. Look at the fun stuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh. So I got a little letter, because like I said, this is the way that I learned it is there's always... Um, yeah, little letter. So I was reading it that goes in with the pocket letter, and uh, it's like a the creative, artsy people's way of having a pen pal. So, so that's so sweet. And then this is what she did. This is so cool. There's little like a little shaker card she made that has. Look at that. That's neat. I love that. It's like she used some circle punches or circles. And then check out the little owl. That is so cool. Oh, and in the back. And so she did the inside of the of the sleeve and she sealed it so nothing has like fallen out. Oh, but this one is open cool that is so this is definitely a summer theme this is awesome and then there's just some fun little um note cards that i can use oh and they're double-sided i love the camper oh my god that's so cute happy camper live love lake gone fishing little journaling card that's sweet with the pine cone oh my goodness this is darling don't feed the bears Oh, the compass weather report. This is so cool. If you guys ever gone on a trip and <laughs> it's totally been ruined by the weather, <laughs> you could totally take a picture of the sky and then put the date up there and then check off what was what was going on. Life is better around the campfire. How cute. I love the little pickup truck too. That is adorable. This is so cute. Thank you, Erin. I love it. We're not done yet. Look at this. The mountains are calling. Oh, wow, this one's open, too. Oh, so she really stuffed these with things that I can use. Look at these little fun pieces. Oh, my goodness. How cute is this? I love that. That pattern. Oh, my gosh. Happy camper. At the lake. These are really cute die cuts. So cool. So I can use this in right in my art. Cute little mushrooms. Some nice little leaves. These are really good chipboard. Really cute. I love it. I'm not outdoorsy. <laughs> That's so funny. This is so cute. Oh, oh my god. I love paper clips. I have a serious crush on paper clips. I think she knows this. Double sided. Look how cute that is. So she made these, obviously so cute and i love look at the s'more how it's both sides so it's pretty no matter if i have it in my planner it's pretty no matter what i'm sorry that my fingers are dirty you guys i've been dealing with paint they really are clean but i've been dealing with ink paint so anyway that is so cute go outside and explore oh my god camp i love camping adventure and then she did my name. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking cute. I love this. So, um, I'm in awe. This is so creative. It's just adorable. I mean, look at that. That is so cute. If you want to see how she put this together and what she used, I'm sure it's all over on her channel. I will have her YouTube channel down below in the comments or 
the, the description so you can go check her out and uh, see how she did this. Make sure that you subscribe to her channel as well. Leave her some love. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Also, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day and I hope that you can participate in something like this because it is just so much fun all around. It's fun to get little things in the mail and it's fun to create and give. Until next time, happy crafting!